Good afternoon. I am Kala Sridhar from Optima Studio. We are here at Hyderabad at the Rotary International President Conference. Today we have with us Dr. Anita Burgess and let us hear what she has to say. Today, uh, please can you start by telling us what was your experience at today's uh, session? Well, like I said, uh, when I was on stage, I was absolutely blown away by the fact that the whole audience had packed the hall, there were about 3,000 delegates and I think that what was so amazing was the spirit of brotherhood that was seen amongst the, the Rotarians. They were all involved in what was going on on the stage and the variety of different uh, people who spoke, all of the speeches were service oriented and I think that speaks volumes for the kind of work that Rotary is doing all over the world. I think that that's um, something that Rotary can be truly proud of and I think it's in that spirit that uh, you know Rotary approached us to use the facilities and the knowledge of the Indian Cancer Society which I, I think maybe this is the right uh, forum to say that the Indian Cancer Society was the first cancer society uh, NGO, in fact, that was study uh, that was started in 1951. So it is more than it's almost ready to have its uh, its diamond, uh, uh, you know, sort of jubilee, which will happen in 2026. And uh, Dr. Jasamala, who was the driving force behind the Indian Cancer Society, was a visionary. And yes, cancer was and still is a very dreaded disease. But at that time, Dr. Jasamala realized what has come true today that cancer would become, like other non-communicable diseases, a very, very important part of any um, health care system. And that's why he made certain that it was not an NGO dedicated Indian Cancer Society was not just dedicated to helping cancer patients with their treatment, their finances, their rehabilitation, you know, the families uh, getting support. He realized that if and when it became a, a major disease problem, we had to take all of that time in 1950 steps to prevent cancer from happening. Okay, so Indian Cancer Society has got a major thrust on awareness and early detection and screening. And that has paid dividends over all these years. So we are seeing cancers earlier and earlier and the very uh, severe kinds of treatments, you know, the, what we call the morbidity, the real effects of treatment. You know, you just heard uh, Anand talking about uh, you know radiation therapy chemotherapy and the toll that it takes all that can be obviated can be lessened by finding cancers before they actually have this toll and that's why i'm so proud that rotary and indian cancer society have joined their joint hands for this uh, you know tremendous uh, service and you see the you know the the rotary yeah, this is going to really go a long way a long way absolutely a long way yes indians how how ready are they to do come for this indians will it's not just indians it's anywhere in the world okay the more you know about something and the less you fear it the more you are likely to want uh, to come. So awareness is very important. Awareness not just about the disease, but awareness that there is a lot that can be done. You know, cancer is not a diagnosis to be feared anymore. It's, people don't come because A, they don't even know what cancer is. Number two, 
they feel or they've heard that cancer is a terrible disease and therefore they they are very reluctant to accept that they can you know go for a for a test and suppose it becomes cancer then you know like people used to say cancer means cancelled it's not that it really is not that the earlier that you detect cancer or even in its uh, what we say earlier stages and also what we call pre uh, malignant uh, stages and i think for women oh it's it's if you can persuade women to take their health seriously to go for regular checkups particularly for cancers of the neck of the womb which we call cervix cervical cancer i think that um, this uh, disease would be eradicated like it has been eradicated in many parts of the world and today there is there's hope we have a vaccine against cervical cancer yeah because cervical cancer we know that almost 99% of cervical cancers are caused by a virus and this virus um, affects this neck of the womb rather early in life meaning just when uh, you know at uh, i know that this is perhaps going to go live but you should know that it is uh, intercourse at early stages of life so when you are young and therefore this age of marriage which uh, the government has brought in is a wonderful thing because in india most of us have our first intercourse when we are married right so if you can push the age of marriage so much the better and you know that women now are being empowered so many women are getting married late because they want to study they want to have a job and all this so all this is also important with respect to uh, cervical cancer but i think information is the key if you give people information you give them knowledge and you teach them not to fear this uh, this cancer this word it's a big i know people call it the big c but i think we need to is this has today's lifestyle got something to do yes, with this yes of course it has yeah. all uh, i think um, 80% of oral cancers would be completely oral that means of the buccal mucosa and where you get these bad cancers would just disappear if tobacco disappeared and this chewing habit smoking etc is the cause so i think that's another part of awareness so the indian cancer society has got three major thrusts one is cancer of the cervix the second is what we call cancer of the mouth and the third one is cancer of the breast and two of them affect women and i think it's it's very good and oral cancer affects both men and women depending on whether you chew or yeah. you don't and you change your lifestyle lifestyle changes are very 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 important eat healthy try uh, you know not to put on weight Hi- hypertension diabetes these are all and cancer are very much part of lifestyle diseases yes yeah. So thank, you so so much much for, thank you so much for thank you so much i know you're very busy i know it's I not that i have another meeting to run to but I'm thank you so much for your time it was really a privilege for our studio to have you here with us thank you thank you, thank so you very much, much.